Hello everyone, I'm CoCrunchCat here, and welcome to a Minecraft another server that I am hopefully doing a series on that does not go corrupted because the first one got corrupted. Not corrupted, it's just very laggy. Kind of like, it's better lag than this episode today. But the first episode I did, that took four hours of recording, was like very laggy, like you teleport every ten blocks away. And I was like, well, there goes the dragon fight, the end city hunt, and uh, collecting the stuff to go to the portal. So what we've done so far was kill the dragon, of course. It took two hours long to actually do it because the enemy was so annoying to get. Um, we traded with the villager that had five emeralds for ender pearl. So we killed the dragon. Now that's the dragon. We got the egg. But the eggs that spawn, so as a whatchamacallit, as a f statue for people who fought it and the person who got the kill on the dragon. And yeah, so after all that, I went to the end city, got three elytras, got one for myself, one for my friend, and then one for my brother, who all play on the server. And yeah, and I got lots of good stuff too. I'm saying and a lot, but yeah. The village is actually going to be where we're living. We're going to be living that is all the way over here. I do have an elytra for myself, but I'm not really going to bother with the elytra because I don't really fly with the elytra as much until I get fireworks and actually trust myself actually flying with them. But we found this very nice area and we're going to live inside the, the flower biome because it's very nice to live in. And plus, so I've already started working on it and everything else like that. Yeah. This is where we're living. I've already started working on it. There were lots of trees here. I started chopping down. Uh, no. Um, welcome to the lobby. Okay. So with me now realizing how long this is going to take. I don't have a beacon, so I don't have haste. I have an efficiency for unbreaking three and mending pickaxe from the end city loot that I found inside the chest. But this is going to take me a while. And plus now the server is going to be shutting down, I guess for maybe a quick reset. So before that time ends, I think I'm just going to show you guys what I've done so far and what I'm collecting and what I'm going to build. I think I said I, what I was going to build. I don't remember saying that in the, in the previous clip. But what I'm going to try and do is build a storage in this specific area where I did. And I'm just going to finish up this little section of mining real quick before time gets up. Or I'll probably just head out when it turns exactly three minutes. Uh, hurry. Okay, I'm just going to mine this one section and then I'm going to show what I've done. So, I'm building a storage right now because we're in desperate needs of it. And, uh, oops, there's TP season. And we're in desperate needs of it, so, plus there will be more of us. So, these are the chests. I've collected most of all this stuff. I will need that. There we go. So I've cleared out this area. I've redid this mountain, got rid of like the trees here and this bump here. I kept some of it over here just because I felt better about it. I did come this area so now it's protected. So yep, that is pretty good. The storage system will be right here where the chests are so the building will kind of be like poke kind of off the hill. And then on the hill, kind of. And then maybe, maybe, it depends. If I think about it, maybe adding like a tower to it, because I am kind of going to go for like a, maybe a medieval fantasy structure with it being a flower biome. Don't know yet, but whatever textures the roof has for the storage and everything, not, not just the roof, like just the storage itself, whatever blocks are used for the storage, that's kind of what the whole method would be then. I'm going to go carry on <laughs> destroying more blocks and hopefully not destroying my pickaxe, which is nowhere near. So, with me thinking about all this mining and doing everything else like that, I have not yet tamed a pet. And uh, what you can see behind me, what I want to do is definitely get a cat. I don't know which cat, don't know how long it's going to take, but I have 10 fish with me. Hopefully. I will get a cat with just these 10 fish. And yes. And hopefully I can actually find one. If I find one, that would be a big help. But if I don't, then 
Yeah, I don't know what to do then. But I've not yet seen a pet. It's either getting a cat or a parrot. I think a parrot would be the best option for a second choice, or... I don't know if I want a dog. If I can find a cat, please? Maybe? What if I just hold the fish? So I can get my mouse to work. There we go. I just want a cat. That's really what I want. But I don't know where to find a cat. And I don't want to chop down trees. Because I don't want to chop down trees. Oh. I like the jungle so much. But what I don't like about it is the leaves everywhere around this place. Oh, cat. Please be here. There's no cat. I am very disappointed about this. Oh, chunks aren't loading in. There they are. Parrot. Mushroom. No cat. I would like a cat, please. I don't even know how rare cats are. Ooh, wait, I could just chill here, can I? Parrot. And chunks not loading again for some odd reason. Chunks load in. My cat's meowing at the window. Ooh, wait, I can just see under the line. What's actually under here? Wow, oh. My cat's meowing. He wants to go outside again. Let's see. Parrot again? I don't see cats anywhere. Ooh, this actually would be a nice place to live, but I already have a place to live. Hmm. No, oh wait, oh uh, wait, I thought that sand was the cat. Heck, is that a parrot? That is a parrot. Hmm. Where would a cat be? I wonder what color cat I'll get. A black, white, or orange cat. What should I name it? I don't know. I got two name tags. Maybe one now. But I don't know. I don't see a cat. Oh boy. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how rare cats are to find. Okay, so, with everything happening and collecting the blocks, I realized I may not need that much cobblestone because I was thinking that maybe I could just only use the cobblestone in the bottom layer of the storage and then use wood for the rest of that. So, I think I'm just going to build the storage off camera. If you guys like it, I can probably do like a solo b video and see... Maybe, don't know. So, what I'm gonna do is gonna do tutorial dungeon, and yeah, I haven't done any dungeons today. So, oh wait, what does this say? Mandatory to do other dungeons. So, let's do this. This is the not the first time I've done dungeons before, but oh my god, that um, yeah, I'm gonna have to tell JP that. Um, okay. I think I'm in Dungeon 1, right? Yeah. I want to say yes. Dungeon 1? Yeah, I'm in Dungeon 1. Okay, I'll have to tell JP that before that gets fixed. So it'll probably be fixed later on. Okay, let's start doing dungeons. Alright. So, this is the first dungeon. Basically, it's like, kind of story of what's going on. I already know what's going on. I'm not going to bother reading it because I don't really like reading and I prefer not reading things out loud because yeah but this dungeon is just to show the basics and everything there's a dungeon level mobs oh right there are level mobs sometimes you'll even have like a I don't know how to but oh what's yeah I don't know what was that was there something always back here no there wasn't oh okay so for this room you're supposed to find the levers and you just do the parkour. I stopped sprinting for some odd reason. You just do the parkour. And find all three levers. This one right here. Jump over. Yep. Then flip this lever. And then you go to the chest. You don't have to go in this specific order. It's just as soon as you know... Because sometimes 
the third lever is sometimes a bit tricky. You go here, you can get your new iron sword, the bones, oh the right hand flash should be helpful. And then key hint. Gonna go to the key hint, if someone wants to hug. I can just put that book by, I really don't want to carry so many books. And then, do you see the sign? You gotta walk through it. There you go. So now you'll have all three levers, which could, I think, I don't remember the loot, maybe lead to a, a next chest, right? Maybe? Can't remember? I wanna say yes. So, we just gotta kill these skeletons now. I'm getting attacked by them all. This will go a lot faster when you have better armor. Usually this is meant to like not go like full iron armor and, s and everything like that, but I'm kind of doing this late because I really wanted to focus on other stuff, but I might as well just do it now. You know what I mean? I mean, dungeons, they're fun. And plus I'm kind of needing to do money. Not, well, okay. So I just think that if you don't know what it is, you're just gonna click it and it's gonna say look up. There it is. And then you're just gonna jump click and then go over here, grab him, um yoink the steak. Just gonna put that there. And you're just gonna run off oh yeah, I guess the bow and arrows, I guess someone else will take them because I can when I get level thirty enchantment I can do stuff because I'll show you why. And then you're just gonna run away. Cause the TNT will still do damage, I believe. Okay. So, these patterns look familiar. Basically, it's the same thing all the way at spawn, following the pool. Or, to keep it in mind, you just flip each lever all one time, all once, and you'll activate it. Then when you, then when you get that, you can go over here, place it, and now the door should be unlocked. Maybe. Unless I did something wrong. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Yeah, the door just opened. So, this is where you'll fight. This is... Oh, I still have the torches on. Oh, wow. So, your voices, you're going to flip the lever, both levers, and this is what's going to summon in the boss. So, yep, and it's a... Yep. We have a lot more dungeons. I do recommend not do not do Machu. Machu is pretty laggy to do. If you don't have a good computer, it's gonna be laggy because of the lava flow and everything else like that. And then Frozen Front, good to get iron and diamonds, uh, kind of sword that would be pretty helpful. But I'm not gonna go to that much detail even though I shouldn't be going. But then we also have more dungeons which I will show you where they are at. Uh, let me just finish killing this place. Oh really? You guys wanted more of your friends? I remember, there we go. I remember when I first did this I always had trouble because I didn't know what to do. So there we go. So all you gotta do is click the chest, collect all of your wards, Oh uh, yeah, I might as well say. So, this is the bonus chest, kill all monsters, secret switches, and then, of course, complete the dungeon. So you're just going to walk over here. Don't click your inventory. Just wait for a bit. And then there should be something popping up. Oh yeah, wait. There we go. You can click that, this, and that. Chain armor. Should help you for the journey, but I don't know how much that's going to do. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah. Okay, and let's just leave the dungeon. I mean, that should be it. Unless I gotta wait. You don't want to go into inventory at all, because I don't know if the bug for the inventory was a thing. But just in case, just don't go through your inventory. Can I leave the dungeon? Well then. I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. Right, oh, nope, okay, that has all my stuff in there from the end. Uh, I don't have anything recovered from the, no, I don't. 
I just said not to go into inventory, but I did anyway. Um, no, okay, well, I'm just gonna end off the video here. First episode, that's exciting. Hopefully I can do lots with more friends. I'm sorry I, I didn't get the clip for the end dragon, but we'll get one next time where we actually do it. So, yeah, I am Cook Lunch Cut here, and I hope to see you guys all later. Bye, yo!